Um, so don't mind my appearance. I've been doing a bunch of housework and stuff, so I'm looking like a whole ass Pippi Long stockings, and I'm in the middle of cooking dinner back there, so we're just gonna turn that. But I wanted to show you guys, I went to Ulta this afternoon um, because I've been complaining about how I've been feeling like uninspired and just like not particularly motivated. So I got some really good advice from um, a colleague and they were like, watch some tutorials, look at some looks that you really like, like just immerse yourself in it again, like look at social media, look at all these different techniques, like new products that you wanna try and stuff. So I was like, okay, that's an excuse to go to Ulta and spend some money. So um, as you can tell by the swatches on my hand, I did some damage so i thought i would show you guys some of the stuff i got some of this is like typical stuff that i just needed for um weddings um and i do have one tomorrow so i was like let me just grab this stuff today might as well i'm trying to do more individual lashes and these are to supplement the individual lashes i already have in my kit um these are the ardell lash trios and then i have the soft soft touches as well um and these are the short and medium um these are just a little bit more dense and these look a little bit more fluffy so i like those because they're really quick i got an extra lash glue because mine runs away 
frequently. I don't know where it goes, but it just up and leaves. But then I got some Ardell 420s. Um, <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with all of these Ardell um, naked lash lashes. Um, A, because the manufacturing is absolute trash. They are never consistent. They always look completely different. But when I was in Ulta, these ones looked like they were supposed to, so I couldn't help it. I just love how fluffy and delicious these are. They look so good on everyone. Um, these are great for moms. You can just chop one in half and do like a half lash. They're so complimentary to different eye shapes, like different looks, like they're Fluffy enough that like it's a pretty lash, but like sparse enough that you can like see the shadow through. Um, it's just a staple that I haven't bought in a long time because they just were not looking the way they were supposed to. I got two more Essence mascaras. I have a regular and then a waterproof. These are just cheap, easy, and it's an actual good mascara. So I always pick some of those up. Um, usually they have like a pack that you can get like two for $8, um, but I, they were $4.99, so it was 10 bucks for two, which is a bargain. You do not need to be carrying like designer mascara in your kit. There's just absolutely no reason. So this is an old product for me that I've tried on myself, but I've never carried in my kit. Um, so I was watching a bunch of like bridal tutorials and stuff on TikTok and um they all use this as like an eye primer and i don't know everything just i'm just bored of stuff in my kit which i restocked my entire kit at the beginning of this year so it hasn't even been like a full six months of me using it but whatever so i got the shade swan actually it's been over six months it's august now so yeah anyways it hasn't even been a full year of working out of my kit currently but i already need to switch it up <laughs> um so i got the shade swan and then i got the shade natural beige so i just got two like shades that i can mix together so this is like a nice medium tan concealer shade and then i have a super light one so between those two i should be pretty good um because my eye bases i like to use pretty light anyways all right this is where i did the damage so I have a bunch of cream shadows in my kit, but the way I depotted them, they're just not vibing with whatever I did. So I decided to get a bunch of these Laura Mercier caviar sticks. And when I say a bunch, oh, uh, there's some Bobbi Brown ones in here too, actually. Um, anyway, these like shadow sticks, I got two, four, six, eight, nine of them. These cost a pretty penny, I'm just gonna say, but I really wanna try using shadow sticks more frequently in my kit. Um, A, to save time, and B, because I've just been loving that like latte makeup, like blown out, smoky, I don't know, just a little bit softer. Um, so I think this could save me some time, and I just thought these looked really pretty. So I got Nude Beach, which is this like taupey, nude color which is a great transition shade sand dune which is a little bit of a warmer mid-tone shade i know people are going to look at this and be like those are the same color they're not okay they're different this is cinnamon oh this shade is delicious look at that yummy warm mm, so good stone which is like a true gray taupey stone is a very good name for this color and then we have just like a nice deep chocolatey rich brown uh so those are the bobby brown ones all right now for the laura mercier ones and these are a formula to, that i've played with multiple multiple times so i'm really happy with them um i have cobblestone this is a true taupey gray yeah that's so much better that's that's the first one this is this one yeah i like that so much better they're just so creamy i love them all right and then we have caramel that's caramel that's really pretty though and i like these because the packaging is actually like for the shimmery ones it's like shiny and then for the matte ones it's matte so you can easily tell the difference for what you're grabbing 
So I'm gonna throw these bad boys in my kit along with those new two concealers, the mascaras, the lashes, and yeah, I'm excited to play with all these tomorrow. So mission accomplished. I'm feeling motivated, inspired, and excited. It's crazy what a little money spending shopping spree can do for your morale. Good morning, everyone. It's 6.30. Oh, I did not sleep well last night. But that does not matter. We gotta get the show on the road. So I slept with my hair in braids last night. So hopefully I can just take them out and touch my hair up with this crimper thing, beach waver. Um, wow, I literally look like I'm wearing a diaper in this outfit, but that's okay. Today is not about me. I'm just wearing this bodysuit with like a square neck, um, and then I have on black cargo pants. And as usual, I don't know where my tripod is, so you guys are literally propped up on shaving cream and lotion. <laughs> also, don't look in my- well, actually, you can look in my closet. Look at that little cutie. What are you doing? Good morning! Um, I'm just gonna do a super quick makeup look, um, but I'm starting out with my Super Goop Glow Screen, which I actually haven't been liking this lately, but I'm just gonna keep using it. My skin's a little too oily for it in the summertime, but in the winter, it's gonna be really, really nice. I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for oily skin. Oh my god, I have like a smoker's cough going on. I'm gonna just use a teeny tiny bit of this. I'm gonna mix two colors just to try and get my right shade. I don't like wearing heavy makeup for wedding days. I will never be one of those artists that shows up in like a full face of makeup with like a strip lash and like I just can't do it. I get so sweaty when I'm working and I just feel so disgusting. And I also find a more natural look is a little less um, intimidating because for weddings, a lot of times the girls don't wear a ton of makeup. This is definitely more a natural group. So when somebody shows up with like a full face, they're kind of like, I don't want that. It might be raining, but Nashville is bumping. I got, ugh, look how wet, I got monsooned on. It is so sticky, hot, ugh. I'm so sweaty and it's like pouring rain in this parking garage, it's so humid, I'm dying. Um, so I just got done with my wedding. I had, um, five services, six services. Um, they were such a lovely group. I was at the um, Symphony House downtown Nashville. So it's gonna be a little chaotic getting out of here because I'm literally two feet from Broadway. So that's gonna be fun. Um, but they were amazing. We got a good tip. They were so lovely. Great day, feeling good feeling like my head's back in the game. All right guys, if you ever wanted to know what it's like to work weddings downtown Nashville, 
There's literally a pedal tavern right there. How funny is that? Hello, everyone. So, I have to leave for a trial actually two trials um later this afternoon so i just wanted to do a few things to prep i already cleaned my kit and everything but i have some clean brushes here that i washed and had out drying i'll take you out in a second okay it's okay no you actually stay away because i just cleaned so i have some clean brushes and tools here that i just put into this container they are officially all dry that i washed last night and sanitized um so i just did like a small load because i don't have any weddings this weekend i just have a shit ton of trials i had um one yesterday and an appointment yesterday i have two trials today and then saturday so i just wanted to do enough to get me through and then i'll do like a serious every single brush i own cleaning i have these little bags that i've showed before so i'm just gonna go through and like divide up um all the ones i need basically everybody's just gonna basically get a clean brush set um and i do this with every sit like every single time i wash my brushes i uh, make a clean set for each so that way um i can keep them all separated so i only use what i need and i don't have to wash brushes that are technically haven't been used but aren't clean because they've been maybe like contaminated by dirty brushes or being at somebody else's appointment so um it's not quite as wasteful which is really nice um like i said i'm really just using exactly what i need and it saves a ton of time so i highly recommend if you are able to get multiple brush sets to do so um and that way i can just like bring one or two of these per appointment i have um i actually have a big brush buddy um from my kit co so i'll just keep all of these stored in there and then just pull and go as i need um Thank you. Thank you so much. I love your nails, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Have a good one. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. I just pulled into the salon. Um, I am here for a trial. It's like 8.30. Happy Saturday. <laughs> um, my last makeup appointment for the week i don't know why that was so hard for me to get out i'm excited um because i'm gonna be done super early today and it's a beautiful day so i still have the whole day ahead of me oh my gosh i can't stop yawning i um think i might run to ulta after this um i need uh, another liquid eyeliner and um do i need anything else i don't think i need anything else so it's gonna be just like a quick little um, ultra run, but yeah, I think I'm gonna stop there after this. Um, I was not able to film my last few trials because the girls asked me not to post anything because they wanted it to be a surprise, which I totally understand. And then the other day, the salon, it was insanity. It was so freaking crowded. We were like stepping all over each other and like I had to wait for a chair to open up and I was late setting up and it was just, it was so crazy. I barely found parking. Like it was a wild time. So I just didn't have an opportunity to whip out my camera. I was kind of bummed because I feel like I have not gotten like any like behind the scenes footage or anything. I'm trying, but I'm just, it's so crazy lately. Oh my God. I'm so like swollen and puffy i don't know why i woke up um i could barely get my contacts in but i just did like a super like natural makeup look and my hair needs to get washed so i just put my little bangs in braids and i'm just wearing like an oversized tee with biker shorts and sneakers um because i'm only in this lawn today i can be a little bit more casual and comfy it gets so hot in there because everybody's like blow drying and like all that 
good stuff. There's so many hot tools and it's a smaller space with us like kind of close together. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna run in and go set up. I'm a little bit early, but I need, like I said, I'm early, but I need to go like clean my airbrush and all that good stuff. Yeah. 